Hey everybody. Hope uh, hope everybody is well. Um, we're on the ground here at Dublin. Uh, we're going to do a quick flight uh, over to Newcastle and probably back again. Um, so good evening from Melbourne and good morning or good afternoon uh, to you depending on where you are in the world. And um, uh, yeah, it's just about to go nine o'clock here, so we'll time for time should have time for a, a quick sort of hop uh, over to the UK and uh, and then back to back to Dublin again. So the virtual airline um, Farfly Air released the October monthly schedule uh, yesterday, and we're we're about to do pretty much. I think it's the shortest of the short haul um, flights uh, or or short haul legs so um, so I decided to go on the A320 I've just done a flight in the A320 and um, the Phoenix um, only because I was flying the I think I've been flying the Boeing's the last couple of times a couple of streams so so I thought we'll do the we'll do the Airbus um, for this one um, it's looking so I am one Real time and live or live weather. Uh, Dublin's looking a little bit, a little bit grey. Uh, I will also just say as well that I always have um, performance issues at Dublin, like a couple of frame rate drops and a few stutters and stuff. If you see that, that's normal. Don't worry about that. Um, I still need to fix it. I'm not really sure how to fix it, but I need to fix it. I reckon I need to take. Uh, this is the paywar version too. Um, from MK Studios, or I can they do uninstall it, delete all the files, get rid of version one as well. I've already got rid of it, or uninstall it, but probably need to delete all the files and all that sort of stuff and completely disconnect them. Anyway, so um, yeah, so within the Phoenix, this is the 8K uh, livery. Uh, you can see when zooming in there and stuff, it's not that it's not that smooth. So, uh, but we'll live through it. We'll live through it. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go Erlingus uh, over to uh, over to Newcastle. So we'll jump into the flight plan. So we've got a sim brief generated, and I've just populated um, Navigraph, uh, which we can see. And I forgot the satellite mode on as well. I might actually put the um, put the weather on. Let's have a look. Put cloud cover. Yep, cloud cover. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's just Ireland, you know. <laughs> Look at this cloud cover. That's that's brilliant. Very good. Okay, so well, I will have a quick look at the weather, um, just to see what it's doing. I was over. Where was it? Up. Oh, I did a flight from Dublin to Norway and back again there a few minutes ago, a little, little while ago. So, um, all right, we'll turn this off. Uh, off. Okay, so we're currently here at um, stand three one three Charlie. Uh, we'll push back on to. I think that says four. Does it say four? It does too. Uh, on the taxiway four, uh, we'll head up and then on the Foxtrot Inner and then on the Foxtrot Outer. And then we'll do a right turn on the November and then on to a left turn on the runway 28 right. And we're going to depart 28 right via the uh, ND, I think that's 3J for Juliet uh, Sid. Uh, so effectively, uh, shortly after takeoff, it's a slight right-hand turn, and then and then a, a pretty much a, a 180, um, and then out over the Irish Sea, uh, across Northern Wales, left turn across Northern England, uh, or up into the northwest, and across to uh, Newcastle. Um, so both airports are payware. I've got, I've got. They're both. I think they're both on Orbex. Uh, Dublin certainly on Orbex. No, I stand corrected. Dublin version two, I believe, is on Contrail, and uh, I think it might be in the marketplace as well. And I've also um, got the payware for Newcastle as well. That's on Orbex. Orbex Central. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to use any add-ons. I'll probably use GSX Pro just to push me back. I, I was running the SLC service or self-loading cargo earlier on. I was going to put it on stream, but 
Um, I'll do it. I'll do it another day because it does take a while, and and you gotta set it up, and you gotta get your sim brief matched, and all that sort of stuff. And um, and it does take it does take a while to get get off the ground. Even like it could take you. Sometimes it could take up to um, an hour or more. So I'll, so look out for that. I'll definitely do a stream either later in the week or next weekend with self loading cargo. Uh, and pretty much all the add-ons I use, so um, TSX I Pro use as well. Uh, obviously all the other aids to um, to help to help me. And I'll run you through the virtual airline at some point. Um, I'm just waiting on more. I, I'm actually I don't want to do it just yet because I I'll actually want to get a few more followers and viewers and stuff before I do that. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we'll jump into the into the flight deck and uh, and and get 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 us up and going. So um, so I'm gonna go up overhead. Uh, we'll get the batteries on. Um, we'll get the external power on. We'll give that a moment just to just to fire up. And once that's fired up, we'll um, we'll go on. Wait for the light to extinguish. Two. Wait for the light to extinguish. These are the eight ears. And then our auxiliary. And let that fire up. Strictly speaking, you shouldn't put the pumps on, um, I believe, until the uh, fuel goes in the aircraft. Let's just pretend we're fuel fully fueled. We're not, but anyway. So, fuel pumps on and oxygen supply on. I've got a couple of panels, um, SciTech switch panels and stuff in front of me, so I'm just going to bang all those on. And uh, nav light on as well. Emergency exit signs can come on, no smoke can come on, and seat belts come on. Okay, um, actually, you know what, why, why is we're in the Phoenix, what I'll do is, given that it's going to take 7 or 8 minutes for this thing to align, uh, I will, um, I will run GSX and just, you know, let it, let it do its thing. Happy days. What's that mean? Oh, there we go, we reached our, our followers goal. Excellent. So who jumped in there? Uh... King, King, King Joinick, I think it is. Hope, hopefully, I got that right. Welcome aboard. Um, thanks for the follow. Thank you. And you are follow nor follower number ten. That's that's a that's a big deal. That's a that's a that's a pretty big deal. Follower number ten. What that means? We've met our follower goal. So we want to set a new goal. Twenty. <laughs> <clears throat> baby steps, people. Baby steps. Um, thanks for jumping in. Thanks for jumping in. Um, okay, and you know, I'm happy to chat. Like you know, throw things in the chat and you know, give me advice and all that sort of stuff. And, I, and just a bit of a disclaimer as well. Um, I don't do things by the book or procedures or anything like that. I just sort of do it how I've learned them and from watching YouTube and watching other streams and things like that. So. Uh, please don't shout at me if I do something. I do something out of. Um, I would do something out of out of. Uh, Wacky, you know. That you, that's not allowed, you know. Okay. Uh, all right. I'll go down to the McDo and get the um, get the flight loaded in. So as I say, I've got some brief and everything connected. Um, uh, we'll just actually we'll just grab a quick. We'll have a quick look at some brief. Just before we do that, so basically, it's given us, um, it's given us a uh, da, 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 altitude of twenty nine thousand feet, cruise index twenty seven or um, cost index twenty seven. Winds are okay, and block fuel five point two and a payload okay. So, all right, that's all good. No worries. I right, know where with that. That back over there. Okay, so we'll, we'll bang this in. So, initialization request. It'll give us our departure and destination, and then I'll fire in. Um, I'll fire it into the tablet as well once I get it initialized. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'm using GSX um, only because I'm, only because I'm in the Phoenix. The GSX is actually pretty well optimized with or integrated with the Phoenix. So I thought, you know what, just why not? Let's just let it run. Um, with the PMDG and some of the other aircraft, it's 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 okay. But like to be honest with you, I mean, I know the the good thing is they're continually updating it. But 
you know, it's forty dollar Australian dollars, forty dollar add on. Like you think it would have a bit more. It was, I think it was forty dollars. Um, I think I'd have a, a bit more optimized by now. Apparently not. Okay, let's get the tablet up and going, and then once we get the tablet started, we will um, we'll start up boarding here as well. Uh, the Phoenix, this version of the Phoenix is fully up to date, by the way. So we'll put it on fast, which is nine minutes. That'll give us enough time to get st started up. Okay, that's good. Um, and this is going to take a little bit to, to load to to um, initialize and everything else. So I think I had a flight number FFA, which is Firefly Air uh, 1089. 1089. Cost index, I think I said, was 27. Hello. And our cruising altitude is 290. Block fuel was 5.2. Check that. Yep, 5.2. And we'll do our fuel weights in a moment. Flight plan, as I mentioned, um, so departure was runway 28 right out of Dublin. Uh, sorry, one, one thing I need to do here actually is just check my. No, that's okay, that's fine. Uh, so 28 right, that's the new runway. Um, it was built a couple of years ago out of Dublin, and uh, we're going out on the ND, ND2, or is it 3 Juliet? ND3 Juliet, yep. Uh, insert that. Arrival in a Newcastle. I know I'm not supposed to do this now, but that's okay. I'm going to. Uh, I don't use. I'm not using. Um, I'm not using ATC because it's rubbish, um, and I'm not on that side at the moment. So arrival into Dublin now, less twenty-five, and uh, we're going in via the pole, pole, pole one end. So. Uh, star, so pollen, effectively. Um, we'll just check for discos or manuals or vectors or any of that sort of stuff. All looks good. We'll clear the disco. And the rest was fine. Um, we'll stick in our progress. Uh, da, 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 for? Uh, Echo Golf November Tango. And it was runway 25. Hi, Fuel we have to do and uh, take off we have to do so. So that's good. So while we're waiting on the um, the boarding completing, uh, we'll just do a couple of quick things. So uh, we'll pull the cage to get set. We'll do the MCP given that we can do that at the moment. So B for um, uh, barometer or barometric pressure reset. Um, two nine or zero, I think we said. And we're gonna go. I'll, I'll leave that for the moment. I'll come back. To, uh, actually, I'll actually land the system on. Put all these on for the mapping. Okay. Alright, that's that done. Company message. Let's have a look. It's probably the load sheet. Normally, you get a couple of load sheets throughout the, this process. Uh, we'll accept that. Return. We'll keep that there for the moment. And everything else is looking okay. Um, as I say, the, the, the frame rates are a little bit low there, I've noticed. But it clears up as soon as I leave the airfield, it'll, or the airport, it'll clear up. Um, okay, so we're going to have a quick look at the weather while we're, um, while we're here. So coming out of... Uh, so coming out of Dublin... Uh, so let's see, what have we got? We've got winds... 8, eight not winds, that's okay. A few clouds to 1100 feet, broken clouds 16,000. Okay, 16,000 seems pretty clear. Visibility uh, clear. Uh, temperature 13 degrees, excellent. That's not bad. Uh, we'll go have a quick look at um, Newcastle. So, three knot, three knot crosswind, we'll take that. Visibility is clear and uh, 14 degrees. Okay, uh, no, no issues then. So, we're not expecting any issues with weather, excellent. That's good because when it was coming down from uh, the previous flight, it was in there coming in from Oslo. Um, Oslo was brilliant, by the way. The the payware of Oslo, which is on Orbex, I can't remember who developed it. Might may, may actually been a um, Orbex themselves. I'm, I'm not 100. percent Really, really good airport. Really good payware. Um, 
but uh, I, I should have streamed that flight or I was out doing stuff when, when, I, when the flight was in the air, the plane was in the air. The, um, yeah, the, the, the weather coming back into Dublin was a 100 knot headwind. <laughs> it was 100 knot headwind, it was ridiculous. So um, the ground speed was like 300 knots. It was horrible, so it took forever for a, for a quick, you know, what's supposed to be an hour and a half flight, an hour and 40 minutes. Um, so I've also got Volante running as well. <coughs> and um, where am I? Where's Volante? There we go. Yep, so we're all loaded into Volante as well, so it's good. Okay, so our alternative airport. Uh, as per Simbridge, by the way, is Manchester. So any any issues, we'll um, we'll divert into Echo uh, Golf Charlie Charlie, which is Manchester. Okay, so we've got our alignment, so that's good. Um, we're still boarding. Well, GSX has just finished boarding, so happy days, and that's a good indication that we're not too far away from. I typically find, if, and I started I started the the Phoenix boarding process a little bit late, but I typically find GSX and Phoenix boarding process um, they're roughly about the same time there is a way of linking them but I haven't I haven't um, I haven't looked at it yet um, okay all right we'll do the weather systems while we're waiting on uh, waiting on the boarding so uh, system, so weather systems on on you want to set uh, I'm gonna go two two three four three six four transponder just something random um everything else you know we're okay so we we'll just we'll just wait we'll finish our weights we might as well start the APU while we're while we're waiting and uh we'll start we'll finish off the setup overhead so we'll start on the APU we'll give that a few moments and yep we'll just give that a few moments what's he waiting on these guys Yeah, it's looking very Irish out there. That's good. Okay, let me see. A little bit of a uh, bit of tunage. Okay, so where are we at? We'll just keep an eye on this boarding. Um, shoot, should only be another minute or so, and then we can crack on. We'll we'll do a full we'll do a full turnaround in uh, in Newcastle. It should take us should only take us um, maybe an hour and a half. So roughly about forty five minute flight time on the first leg, uh, depending on winds, and then uh, let's let's say forty five fifty minutes on the way back, half an hour turnaround, something like that. So we'll out for about two hours. Um, in total, well, I think that's plenty. Here we go. Okay, so what's I say? 60.4, 31.8 for our weights. So initialization, so if you're with 60.4 slash 31.8, uh, we'll put that in. Now we've heard, okay, GPS, yep. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so performance, I just double check that number 31.8. Alright, so we want to calculate our performance. Um, 
So runway 28, is it right? Yeah, right, yeah. 28 right, dry, the one plus flaps, packs will be on. Uh, sync load sheet, sync weather, calculate. That'll give us. Yep, okay, so that'll give us. Uh, so we've got, so we've got 146 for the V speeds, V1, 146 for VR, 147, 1220, 1104, and 64. I remember that. 146, 146 for VR. 147 for V2, I have 1220 for the engine out. Uh, I think it said, uh, I'll say 64, I can't remember what it was. 1 slash DN 0.4. Check that. Oh yeah, got it right, 64. And then 1220, 1220, okay. Excellent. Okay, that's us. We're um, we're good to go. MCP's done. All right, I'm gonna call for pushback on GSX. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna knock the APU bleed and the probe heat on. The window heat at least. There goes the jetway. Um, we'll just wait for our connection. No, we won't. Uh, what we'll do is we'll disconnect our chocks. So get rid of the. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Just prioritize and check the volume levels on GSX. Make sure it's not too loud. Uh, looks okay. All right, so we're gonna get rid of our chocks. Uh, I'm not gonna get rid of the GPU just yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up and turn the external power off first. And then back down to PPU and get rid of that. Departure checks completed. Okay, it's Bypass gone. Pin Pins in. There he is. Right. Okay, well, that's good. Here comes the tug. Beautiful. So, as I said, I think what we'll do is all being well, all being well. We'll see what we're going to push us back, but we should push back and sort of do Locking that. Um, I think I think they'll push us back and give us a a westerly looking a westerly uh, point to the west, nose pointed to the west. That's that's the phrase we're looking for. Um, and then we'll head up. We'll head up the we'll head up exit the apron on the Foxtrot um, outer. And then uh, right on the November and on to go face and west. And then on to uh, runway 28 left. That's the plan. Release and parking brakes, please. Alright, alright, calm down. So pick and light on first. And then. Release parking brakes, please. Push. All engines clear. Start at will. Parking brake off. Okay. So we're, we're clear to start. So let's go down. Uh, starter. Master switch on. Engine two. Now we'll just go ahead and have a listen. Engine two up and uh, engine one.
See where see the way that where they're putting us. Look at this. It's interesting. It's good though. Still going. Confirm that. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. Master you switch back to reset. Ground spotters on. We'll go up overhead, just make sure everything is a okay. So AP bleed can come off, AP master can come off. Okay, the warning. It's giving me a warning here. I think that's. I think that'll clear once I start. Once I put a bit of throttle in. As far as I remember. Um, max on the brakes and terrain on one side at least. We'll leave my side for the moment. And once it clears, we'll uh, run the clock and start the taxi. Left is clear. Right is clear. I'm trying to update my followers target, I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> um. Get up in the air first and I'll have a gun. Okay. Uh, park the brake coming off. Run the clock. Park coming in. No, what I didn't do. Check my flight controls. They look okay. So I still got that warning. Which is odd. You know what? Another taxi on the first shot, I don't know. Yeah. This is this one. This is first shot two. We'll just follow that. Taxi lights on. Oops. Look at that. Oh, I've got that flight control issue. What have I not done? Flight control issue. We just have to put it overhead. All good there. Flaps. Flaps one. Take off. Huh. I see. Uh, I saw that warning. That warning popped up the other day and um, it actually cleared it cleared when I um, started the engines I think about it I made a call for maintenance oh there's a AI plane let's see what this does this is a BFS traffic We'll let him do whatever he's going to do, or her. That's good. Thank you. Next one I'm driving at this. Alright, park and brake back off. There goes the other Olympus.
That can't be good. I'm not worried about that now. We'll just keep going and see what happens with it. Should be a bit of fun. If it all goes horribly wrong. So we're currently on Foxtrot Outer. So I should say Foxtrot, yep, that's good. We're going a little bit quicker, slow down a little bit. Uh, we're about to make a right turn onto, um, slow down here, it breaks a little bit, uh, onto November. So turn on to November. Our end, it's good. And we're going to roll on down to uh, November 2, which is the entry to uh, runway 28 uh, left. No, 28 right. 28 right. With the stick. Looks okay, but I'm moving the controls, so hopefully it's um, hopefully it's alright. Should be the next left. Left turn here. Um, we're just going to hold short for a moment. Uh, actually, we'll keep rolling, but uh, we'll land the lights on, strobe lights on, and uh, we'll give um, flaps are at one. Alright, I think we're good to go, so it's going to bring a little bit of power. Left turn over the runway. Check, see the runway's clear. Oh, we'll beat the unit, so you're going to have to wait. We're clear on the left. Alright, once we get onto the center line here, it's gonna, I'm going to toga. Right, let's line up a little bit better. And here we go. I didn't get any warnings or alarms pinging at me for takeoff inhibit, so I don't I've got one warning there, I'm not sure what that is. I don't have time to look at it. Alright, here we go. So our rotate speed was 146. Just trying to hold the center line here. That's a bit better. And there's our rotate. And up we go. And there's three aircraft coming in. <laughs> Sorry fellas, positive rear gear up. <laughs> oh well. I didn't notice him, anyone else knows him. Alright, um, up we go, that's good. Uh, we're going to have a slight right hand turn here, so we're going to engage autopilot straight away. Let the plane start turning right. Sorry, hit the mic there. I'm going to keep it on max uh, power for the moment, or toga for the moment. Massive stutter, look at that. Should recover. Shouldn't actually have done that in the first place. Wow, huge stutter. So I find that I get stutters when I'm when I go from default scenery to either free freeware or payware, and I've just left payware scenery. Now, I don't usually get them when I leave, when I go from payware into default, but I do get them. Nice, look, there you go, some of the frames are covered and I'm up to full, you know, that's all great. Oh, I forgot to turn the TCAS on, I was distracted by a bloody one. Um, so, and that's, that's because we've left double. So there's definitely something, definitely something not right there with Dublin. Anyway, flaps up. <coughs> I'm gonna read my message. 
something else to see. Um, it's probably another little cheat, isn't it? That is too. Okay, that's good. So yeah, so there we go. So it's nice and smooth now. Eh? So probably probably up to around 90 frames a second. That's like it's good. Oh, sorry guys, wrong. Well, a lot of wrong thing. Let's see if this brings it up on screen. Yeah, it does. So what are we showing? Uh, there we go. So 79, 80. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, inside the carpet. Nice and smooth, no stutters. Um, outside, over 100, kind of days. Well, if we bring it back, it's not. So, it's just, there just must be a slight radius around the, aer the airport, you know? Um, yeah. I guess it's lovely and smooth now, detail's good. So, I don't know, it's, it's weird. It's just, um, it's always happened, always. Anyway, I'm going to bring the lever back to climb, the throttle back to climb, and uh, we'll go standard on the bar both sides. Right, there we go. So, I'm just going to bring up Volantic, because Volantic is um, our time. I will use, we use, um, let's get rid of that. Use, uh, so here we go, so we're, we've done a right hand turn, we're basically going to head out of, off the, over the coast of Ireland, north of Dublin, RFC, across Northern Wales, slightly, and then, uh, oh we actually fly right over Blackpool, look at that, over Blackpool and, um, and then up through the northwest of England to, is that not good? Set that again. Uh, climb levers popped out of its indent there. That's better. Um, yeah, over to uh, Newcastle. That's a, that's the plan. So when I go up to cruise in altitude, I'll check the um, I'll check the time in terms of how long it's going to take us to get there. Um, given that we are now well clear of the airport and at nine thousand feet, I'm going to disarm the spoilers. And I'm also going to check my warning. Too steep by then, it's okay. Um, at this point, I'll, I might as well knock the lambda lights off, taxi lights off, and uh, see what's sent off. So that's also on the way to climb. Um, we'll just keep the tablet on that piece, that's all good. Actually, that should give me an ETA here. Uh, you gotta work it out. Oh, it gives you the weather too, look. Me tire. I forgot about this. That's good. Ah, here we go. It gives you the runways. It doesn't it gives you the distance too, it doesn't give you time though. Is this new? I think that's new. Maybe it's not. Never noticed it before. Very good. Excellent. Alright, so just a quick check. Climbing up to cruise speed, cruise altitude, just ascending at 1600 feet per minute. Everything looks a okay. Yep. Happy days. So, I predict that we'll have a, um, a, a few stutters on, on the approach, on the final. Um, and then by short final, it should be clear. or Sometimes you get the old micro one, um, and and that's it. That's usually what happens. Like normally on departure, I don't get any stutters at all. But Dublin has always been a, a just a problem child. And given that the monthly schedule um, that we're doing has something like uh, thirty flights out of Dublin, I, I might have to fix it, <laughs> or thirty flights associated with Dublin. But anyway, um, all right. So I'm gonna go and figure out how to uh, update my followers' goal. And whilst I'm doing that, we can uh, we can fire on some we can fire on some music more. So let's do let's do this. And let's get rid of me.
I was really hoping there that uh, Hey Skyler was um, going to give us an escort. That would have been cool. Finally figured it out how to do that goal. So, um, so that's good. So I'll get that. I don't know, sorry. Pop it there. Going there. So I'll get that up and going. Oh, it's this one here, yeah. All right, let's add this in. What about that? No, no. What? No, no. I want that. Go with me. Oh, my. Oh, there we go. What? No, it's a bit. No, I don't. Wrong resolution. Uh, let's go. Um, actually, you know what? Let's let's not. Let's. I need to set. I need to set the opacity and all and sort of there. So let's 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 get rid of that for the moment. And um, we'll fix that up later. I'll have it. I'll have it wrong for next time. <coughs> okay, let's have a look and uh, and see where you are. Um, I'm gonna just quickly have a. Lance of Valata, so Valata's telling me 11 minutes. <laughs> so, top of descent is. is. coming up in about 40 30 miles. So, okay, so we need to, we need to enter in our destination data. Um, so, let's have a quick look at. Not that. No, that's wrong. Wrong screen, sorry, that's. Here we go. Let me just. I just realized there's a couple of things have been here that I need to remove for a second. What the hell's that? Oh, okay. Right, um. Yep, so we're about to hit the star. We want to have a look at runway 25 in Newcastle. To get our um, decision height, so we'll open up the chart. Um, so it looks like we're coming in at uh, 246 degrees, 2,000 feet, and at 439. So let's clear the message. We'll clear the message. We're going to go speed error at S. Okay, it's fine. Go with that. Uh, end our performance next. Is next page, or next phase. Uh, so we want to put in our barrel, which is two four three nine, and we also want to have a look at the weather again. So I'm, I'm going to take the weather from the tablet, and I'm just going to check it. I'm just going to check it off, make sure it's correct. So one hundred one six for the QNH, yes. Okay, yeah, okay. So it's obviously the same source. That's good. All right, so let's do that. So we're going to go, uh, so winds are 230 degrees, three knots at 230 degrees. QNH is 1016 and 14 degrees. So we'll put that in. So 1016 for QNH, 14 degrees on the temperature. And that was 230 at three knots on the winds. Uh, top of the sand is 12 miles. And everything else. Love my looks pretty good. Uh, let's have a quick look at the plan. Uh, I should be able to work right from here. So we're going to do left hand turn and then left hand turn. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We'll make it work. I think it was 2,000 feet we wanted to go to. Start our descent. No, we're a little bit early, but I want to start the descent a little bit early. Because that turn is... Um, yeah, I don't really like the look of that turn. We'll say a little bit early. We're about 10 miles early, but that's okay. It's a managed descent anyway, so the plane will do its, do its thing.
like this. We've got a few people around. That's good. So we'll land and um, we'll uh, do our turnaround and and then head back to Dublin. Obviously, the weather's a little bit better here. Still cloudy, but still still better. Alright, so our donut has caught up with us, um, so we're back on profile in terms of descent, so that's good. And yeah, it's not too bad actually. So we've got we have had a nice tailwind, so 68 knot tailwind. Um, so that's why our ground speed's up over 500 knots. So that's we're flying, flying, <laughs> we're hammering, <coughs> which is good. That's why it's only been 29 minutes. So yeah, so the 46 minute flight time looks pretty good. The only problem is, it just means there's going to be an almighty headwind on the way back. Um, but we'll, we'll figure that out when we get there. That should have been an arm, by the way. That's okay. So a couple of things I'm going to do. Um, uh, like the, the Volanta banner and stuff, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go and customize that and do my own sort of thing. And, you know... Um, dress up the, the the screen a little bit, but I, I I like it quite simple though, and you know I'd rather you be looking at the content as opposed to the flashy stuff, you know. But there's a few things I just want to add and, and sort of continue building Discord and continue building up a few things. Um, I'm I'm doing flights most nights, so. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to stream every night, but I'll certainly stream probably three or four times a week. Um, and a whole variety of flights. Like at the moment I'm just doing airliner stuff, but I'll do GA stuff and jets and other bits and pieces too. It just depends on what what's going on in terms of chasing down the virtual airline achievements or um, missions or you know what have you. So at the moment I've got a multi-schedule to do, um, I've only done, this is the third flight off the schedule, um, so by the time we finish tonight uh, we'll have done four, or I'll have done four, and um, four of a possible, let's have a look, uh, let's see, so four, 14, 24, 32. 32 flights. So, plenty to keep us busy. And uh, there's four long hauls, 10 medium hauls, uh, 8 short hauls. This is a short haul. And then 10 GA. So, usually you'll fly the GAs in like a PC 12 or actually you might do the GA in the Comanche, the um, ATA Comanche. In fact, I probably will do it in the Comanche now I think about it. Because it's, it's fantastic. It's unbelievable, actually. Um, okay, more drag. Yep, so we're off our profile. So the speed breaks out. And I'm going to clear that and I'm also going to check the company message. The company message, seriously. Um, company message. Let's get that. Oh yeah, here we go. Sometimes you forget things, don't you? Maybe it's just me. See, can't be Oh yeah, very good. On the same thing. Okay, cool. Right, um, that's interesting. Okay, so... We've got, uh... About 39 miles to go. 
Or, no, that's not right. Was it? Maybe that's right. Um, actually, let's have a look at the tablet, see what it says. Ah, uh, it doesn't actually count down, so it only gives you... It's all static, is it? Ah, right, right, right. Still, still pretty good, like it gives you the time bar. Okay, very good. Um, yep, so we're going to have a quick look. So we're going to five points. Oh, it's here, 49. There we go. Alright, no worries. Um, performance, set. 43. Minus is. Alright, we're all good. Okay. This one's set. This uh, one's so, so 20. Yep. Come it down really nicely. Um, that tailwind still kind of pushes it along, so 50 knots, a tenth as a fit. It's fairly, you know, it's uh, fairly lively. Um, yeah. Alright, so we're just about to drop under 10,000, so we'll bang the uh, seatbelt signs on. And um, we'll stick our landing lights on as we continue our descent down to 2,000 feet. So it's going to be a pretty tight. And I'm just looking at I'm just looking at the approach chart again, and I actually think it's going to be far too tight. No, it's, it looks okay. No, it looks okay. It looks okay. So it's going to take us just out over the water. Um, so if I look at that waypoint, the entry, ent entry to the ILS feather, it's uh, it's fine. It looks fine. So we're going just over the water and with the left hand turned down. So I actually remember I've done this approach a couple of times. I should have, should have known that. Got a flash of morning here. What's that saying? Speed brake. Oh yeah. Speed brake stowed. We've got it here. We've got Tommy so um, sobbing. Pick one seven nine. Phoenix is a good looking machine, like I'm not. Look at that. Awesome. So here, are, here we are, just approaching the northwest coast of England. The Jersey, no, Geordie Shore, the Jersey Shore, the Geordie Shore, eh? Jersey Shore, it's wrong, wrong side of the world. Alright, 
so our spades our spades come with down so we could probably go and match a flap shortly I'm not going to do a match flap just yet um, but we've got a little bit of time just yet the speed's still steady there at 220 knots so So that's our transition. Check out the gain hitch from 1016 is, uh, is what we want. <coughs> so we can see the, excuse me, <coughs> we can see the runway now. So we'll do that sweep and left turn, come out over the coast and then in. So that's perfect. When I looked at it earlier, earlier on, it was, um, it looked tight because it was because of the range. And then, uh, take the range into consideration. Um, so I think, yeah, we're all looking pretty good here. Uh, so we'll just let the plane fly itself as we hop in. The, the last stream I did, um, I had this playlist going, and there's about 40 odd songs in the playlist, and the flight, flight time is about three and a half hours. And I just landed and started taxiing um, after the flight as the as the last song finished. It was it was good timing, very good timing. Let him get through half of it tonight. So it's all all original, with the exception of the intro song and the um, the two intro tunes. Everything else is all original, all original music, um, created by myself, uh, either myself um, and Big Boss Robinson, um, or Big Boss Robinson and myself. If that makes sense. And if you haven't, uh, if you haven't followed him or checked out him flying the A320 or the Airbuses um, on on stream, then go check him out, Big Boss Robinson. There's a couple of add-ons I'm running here as well, so I've got um, the free add-ons too, so I've got the, the UK, uh, or We Love VFR, um, all three, all three uh, regions, and the UK is obviously one of those, so I think it's region two. Um, I've also got some payware as well from Morbex, which is um, Great Britain North and Great Britain Central, I think it is. So that's why the, the details are a bit more enhanced and it looks a little bit better. Um, especially you know, it puts in all these windmills and power plants and you know 3D models and solar farms and all this sort of stuff. So there's a couple of couple of different um, add-ons we got. So we're coming around. It's going to put the approach mode on. Uh, there we go. So go notch your flaps. I just saw the plane drop there, so we're descending down to the runway, and uh, we're going to go another notch of flaps because. Actually, we're, we're not. We're, my mistake. Um, I am going to drop the gear at this point to try and slow down because uh, I knew that term was always going to be tight, but just didn't think it was going to be that tight. So that should bring us down nicely. I'm going on notch of flaps in a moment or so. Uh, now the lights are already on. On notch of flaps. Emergency exit lights on. I know it's supposed to be one, two, gear, three, four, but I don't have a lot of time for that. All right, flaps. One thousand. Let's go, flaps three. Drop the nose. Take control shortly. We've got a headwind coming in here. Yeah, we do. So we've got 11 knot headwind. That's lovely. Full flaps. 
or medium on the auto brake. Wait until we get the minimums. 500. Should be about now. Always forget spoilers. Armed. Craft, auto pad it off. Minimum. Tenue. One hundred. There you go. Go off the center 50, line. Forty. Thirty. Let's start the flare now. Retard. Put it far back. Five. And get the claps, that's a good sign. That's landing rate monitor. Only for spoilers, uh, or only for spoilers or um, reverses. Given that we, hang on a second. Ah, yeah, we're going off the right. Uh, given that we're rolling slow, so I know I'm off the center line, but at least I didn't really roll or anything. So this is um, this is Payware uh, Newcastle. So welcome to Newcastle. We'll do a right turn. I'm not really sure where we are. Should have bought the taxi chart. We'll uh, land the lights off, taxi lights on, and strobe lights off. Turn lights on. Alright, so we're currently on. I'll go to that. This is taxiway Bravo. Um, we're taxing to the main apron via Alpha. Which this is Alpha. We're just coming on the Alpha, and I'm gonna squeeze in the gate here somewhere. Uh, so it's going to number. It's going to stand four, which is there's five. Oh. Trying to break. Uh, here's four. So right hand turn. We got an auto a VDGS here, you know. uh, sort of. That's that's a bit dodgy, isn't it? No, we don't have it. All right, I'll line this up myself. What in the world is going on with him? I'll roll right up to the top. So I'm gonna guess this. I'm gonna say it's about here. Let's see how well it is. Oh, spoiler for the play. Uh, hang on, I forgot to reset my camera. That's in speed. Miles away. Ah, oh, actually. No, it wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Alright, flaps in. I forgot to put the flaps in. Wait for those. Um, in the meantime, we'll connect the. Uh, Connect the ground power on the chocks. Available, that's good. I'll leave the APU off for the moment. Should have started the APU and all that sort of stuff, but um, that's okay. Alright, let's see. Uh, what was it? No flaps coming in? Yeah, okay, so engine's off. Uh, should have turned the, the thing off. What's it called? Um, transponder. Uh, okay, so we can deboard. So we'll call for GSX to deboard us. And then what we'll do is we'll call for fuel and actually let GSX refuel us. Ah, you know what I forgot to do. I forgot to download the latest GSX profiles for these airports. Because it would have been really great to see them walking off, the, the passengers walking off through the door. <laughs> Look at this. Someone's having, a, someone's having a bad day. Someone's getting sacked. Don't tell me it's Ryan or is it? Typical. Typical. Uh, bacon coming off. 
little bit, little bit sloppy, messy coming in there um, in terms of sequencing, but that's okay. All right, uh, all that's good. Go seatbelt signs off, leave the emergency signs on, turn lights off. Um, so what I'm going to do is get ready for turnaround. So I'm going to leave everything on the way it is for the moment. Yep. So we'll leave it all on for the moment. Let the music off for a second. Um, okay, so we've got a company message. That'll be an arrival message. And then we'll start setting up for our return flight. Which will be good timing. So, um, okay, let's look at our message. Should be an arrival message. Yes, it is. Arrival. Yep, it's fine. Thank you. Uh, okay, so what I want to do is um, pull this in. So, uh, okay, so we want to go. We want to go. Um, let me do this and do that. Let's get a better, better view here. Uh, that looks alright. That looks fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go to um, Simbrief. And or I'm gonna go to the the this is our duty schedule. I'm gonna generate the sim brief. It's very well integrated, which is great. Um, we're gonna run we're gonna populate the sim brief. So EGNT Echo Golf November Tango to Echo India Delta Whiskey. Uh, three twenty two hundred. And we're going Phoenix, uh, generate that flight. So once that's generated, okay, so it's given us a flight time of 49 minutes, so three minutes longer. You know what I forgot to do? Stop the clock. No, reset. Um, 27,000 feet for our altitude. 5.5 uh, tons for a fuel and uh, payload 11.3 or 11.3 third kilo so that's good um, the right all right which is effectively it's effectively just a reverse of what we've done with the exception of the the star and the Dublin so runway wise we've got a landing on 28 right there we go so yeah so same 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 deal um, okay so that's good so what I'll do is I'll bring up uh, I'll bring up Navigraph um, so here we are on stand four. We'll push back. So we'll, let me bring it in first. So import flight, and I'll just I'll do the same on Volanta. So I use Volanta because um, the logbook in, my, in the same it was it was rubbish. It was missing flights and all sorts. So um, okay. So, all right, so we're basically going to push back on the Alpha and leave the apron, continue on Alpha, right turn on the Delta, all the way down to uh, to the end of the runway and uh, onto runway 25, take off. Uh, we're going to head out via, looks like the GRL3X, GR3X SID, or departure. Um, and then into our into our right or our airway. Um, <laughs> look at that straight across. So basically, a, a reverse. Uh, just go south of Blackpool this time. Over, um, I guess, our, over sort of Manchester, Birmingham region, isn't it? Uh, well, there's Manchester. Manchester here, yep, Liverpool. No, Birmingham's further south, isn't it? Yeah, well, Manchester, sort of Manchester region. Straight shoot, straight shot across uh, the IC, and then a left hand turn into our star, which is Bags, three Lima. Um, and I'm pretty sure that um, if you're familiar with Dublin Airport or flying to the Dublin Airport, you'll be familiar with that star or or one sort of similar to it, uh, especially coming in from the UK, um, or actually pretty much anywhere in Europe. So, okay, so we're gonna let these guys to board. So let me just see 360, 37. So it's gonna take a little while, uh, but that's okay. Um, we'll we'll go and get ourselves set up. And, uh, yeah, we'll get ourselves set up. That's what we'll do, okay. 
whilst they're deboarding. I might not. I might not reboard on GSX just for the, the, the sake of time. Um, so hopefully it'll be done by the time we finish this. Uh, so let's just check a couple of things. So our work codes still there. Weather systems are on. Clock's been reset. We can turn the terrain off for a moment. Our MCP, uh, we can probably set that now. So that was 30, 29,000, I think I said. Let me bring up some brief again. Some brief. Put that over here. Uh, 27,000. 27,000. Okay. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll jump into the McDo. So, we'll go flight initialization and reinitialize for the next flight. Give that a moment. And bingo, it's been reversed. Um, uh, we'll go into the FMGC and initialization and bang it in here as well. Once that's in, uh, we'll do our flight number, so FFA1090. FFA1090. That's the virtual airline flight number. Cost index is 47. And our cruise was 270. Our block fuel, I think, was 5.5. Yep, 5.5. I'm going to say 5.6 because it's 5.5999 or 99. Um, well, wait. Oh, hang on. I, mean, I forgot something. I forgot something. So, have we deboarded? Yes, we have. Okay, so we'll, we'll import our new flight into the tablet. Import. Uh, mass and balance, so we'll, we'll do our load and uh, what's that say? Six minutes. We're on, we're on all fast at six minutes. Uh, that's, that's fine. By the time that's done, hopefully the GSX is done. Um, I've noticed that GSX is taking much longer. Uh, I'll just check the settings. Uh, where are my settings? Oh, I've got a really low sim brief on GSX as well. Uh, GSX settings, let's have a look. So this is the problem with GSX, it's so buggy. Like when it works, it works great, but it's still very buggy. And the settings open up way over here. Hang on a second. So I'll bring them somewhere where you can see them. So I think, let's see. So estimate passengers always refuel progressively. Automated start, yep. For airport workers, yep. There's something here about. There's something about there's a way to speed it up. Timing. Boarding density. Very dense. Deep boarding density. Ah, that's why. That's why. Okay. Minimum time refueling. Is that seconds? I think that's seconds. Let's do 60. Alright. Engine bill, waiting for your action. Oh, okay. Okay, I might have to restart it for the changes to take effect. But I've just noticed. So what's happened is for, when I, for the boarding um when they come on, everyone sort of comes on clustered together, so it's much faster. I think I think they're coming off a little bit better now. Uh, it looks more realistic, you know. You're sort of in groups and stuff like that, so it's much faster, obviously. Um, so I think it's I think it's speeding up a little bit. So okay, so that'll speed us up. That's good. I'll leave it here. Leave it come here. Look at your man. Who parked that? <laughs> Ryan or typical? Okay. Um, right, so we'll wait for the 
we'll wait for the um, tablet to come in so we'll do our flight plan whilst we're waiting uh, so our departure uh, was out of runway 25 oops and it was oh it was that one too uh, girl E3X girl L3 girl 3X yep insert that and uh, our arrival into Dublin uh, was in runway 28 right which is our takeoff runway and we had uh, bags 3L I think it was yep bags 3L yep insert that uh, we'll check for discos, there should be one, and there shouldn't be any vectors or manuals. Yep, that's our star entry, I believe. Close that up, and that's us done. Um, Echo India Delta Whiskey 20, yeah, right into our progress bar, our pre flight. Uh, okay, that's us for the moment. Don't need any of that. Um, so we'll let it sit on the weights and balance or sort of fuel page. And we'll just check the tablet, see how we're doing. 73 at 119. Okay, no worries. And the, our, our passenger deboarding has sped up rapidly. There you go, we're almost, almost all off. And in terms of the. So, okay, that's good. So maybe, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll. I'll refuel. I'll refuel the aircraft using GSX. This is odd. This has just started happening. I'm not touching anything. Nothing. And the camera's zooming in. I reckon that's what it was talking about. The dead zone. I bet that's what it was. Oh, hang on. It's not here. What am I looking for? Look to me. Yep, I think it's this. So let's just let's just bring it up. Let's just bring them all up to five percent. See how it works. Put one here. Let's see. No, there's something not there's something wrong. There's something not right with it. Um, I had a problem. I had this problem before, and of course the sim update fixed it. And now we've had a new sim update. Here we are. It's all it's reversing now. It's coming out, it's zooming out now. It's got something to do with the um with the dead zones. That's why I was getting that warning. It doesn't really impact anything too much. Um you so it's, the board crew. it's not a it's not a it's not a big deal. Alright, the board and complete. So uh we can run we're gonna request your fuel. Is on its way. So is this a are we gonna get a tanker or we're we gonna get it looks like we're gonna get a tanker. I don't see any fuel pits around here. So it's it's great when you get the actual the the truck the pumping truck. Um they get out and they put the fly it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty well it's really it's real really well animated. When you get the tanker, sometimes it just arrives and parks and drives off again. Anyway, um, okay, board and complete. So it gives a 55.4 on our zero fuel weight and 32 dead um, on our center of gravity. So 55.4 slash 32.0. Uh, we want to put our, our performance in. So whilst I'm waiting for that, I'm going to start the APU. I know I'm not following any checklists here. Yeah, we've got the tanker, so he should probably he'll probably just park and drive off. Um, oh, he's gonna probably roll now. What do you see? Fuel truck is in position. What's he gonna do? Block fuel. That's what we want. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. So the reason why it's done that is because I don't have the GSX profile for this airport. If I had the the profile, which you can download for free on flightsim.2, uh, or flightsim.2, um. Uh, it, it would actually connect up and you, you, anyway it's, it's all it's better animated and it's better integration so um, I'll make sure I have those loaded for the next batch of flights uh, okay so we're gonna do our performance tab and then we're I'm not gonna do the boarding I'm just gonna push back and get going 
Uh, sick go cheap. Sick weather. So we got uh, 128, 135, 1240, 1 on 68. Uh, 128. Sorry, did I say 128, 145? 135. 125, right. 135, 135. It was 1240. I think it was 68. I'll double check that. On 1D and 0 0.4. 040 040 68 135 yep okay alright we are good to go I think so AP bleed on probe heat and window heats are already on uh, seatbelt signs on Everything else is good. Let's call for pushback. Win a few action. They should disappear themselves. Again, probably because I don't have the profile, so I'll do that one myself then. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, so I want to set set that one there, set that one there. No, no. Set that one there, yeah. It's closed, mate. Yeah. Right, good. Um, don't need to worry about any of that for the moment. That's all good as well. Departure check completed. Okay. Bypass pin inserted. So we want to push back uh, with nose to the right or to the west, east. East. There we go. Locking gear. Annoying me. What is that? Isn't he skip? Okay. So we want to go up overhead and disconnect ground power. See the way the performance has been fine here, and it was a bit choppy at that one. It's just every time. Uh, take it on. Release parking brakes. Parking brake. Commencing push. Release. They want to change it. All engines yeah. clear. Start at will. Um, I'm going to change the um, interval, so master switch uh, on for engines, engine 2 coming on. The interval for the reminders because they just tell you to release park will break every 2 seconds until you do it. Company message, that will be our load sheet, so we'll clear that, or accept that. And then we'll go back to, uh, I think I have on performance. Perf. Okay, engines are going up. Let's keep an eye on this push back and make sure they don't push us into that plane. Again, I don't have the profile for this airport, so we could easily get pushed into something, you know what I mean? It uh, looks like they're doing okay. Um, okay, so fault is extinguished. We can start up uh, into number one. Uh, we've got a warning. What's the warning? Oh, I have my hand the throttle. Set parking brakes. Parking brake on. Waiting your confirmation for good engine start. Uh, we'll give them we'll give them confirmation that we have a good engine Cockpit start. To ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Thank you. Um so we'll watch them we'll watch them disconnect.
take us time, honey. Unlocking gear. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Left is clear. Right is clear. Okay, so whilst he walks away and the tug reverses, um, we'll just set up another company message. I mean, come on. The, the, and, the, and these updates, like I said, I don't know if that's, is that real? Would you get that many bloody messages? I mean, how many times can you say the same thing? You know, another load sheet, right? So what's the difference? Oh, right, okay. No worries. Uh, maybe it's because I refuel with GSX or something. Who knows? Um, okay, so that's good. <coughs> uh, all right, so we're going to go max um, on the auto brake. We're going to run the clock. Terrain uh, on. I'll leave it off on this one for a moment. Uh, we're going to go spoilers armed. Master switch back to off. We'll leave the TCAS off until we get to the runway. Um, we'll go main screen on the tablet, and I think we're good to go. Uh, taxi lights on and turn lights on uh, APU bleed and APU coming off uh, just make sure we're all clear clear light, clear light park and brake off, park coming in and we're gonna roll we're gonna roll over to our right which will take us on to Alpha completely missed that turn didn't I so <laughs> uh, yeah didn't really look at that properly anyway so we're going to taxi on alpha left turn on to which is over this way on to um, uh, left turn on uh, stand on alpha and then right turn on the delta to the runway so it's a left turn here no no that's the gate it's the left turn in the middle one Slow down a little bit. Because we are horsing it here. Okay. And then we've got a right turn. Hit the brakes. Right turn on the delta. Once turn on the delta, I've got a bit of music going. By Newcastle. Small little airport, isn't it? So, where's for taxing as well? We'll go flaps one. I'm not going to worry about staying on this line. Um, fire station I was actually at the fire station uh, in Manchester Airport sat inside the um, sat in the in the rigs the, uh, the firefight the engines in fact now I think about it I actually controlled the cannon this was years ago it was only about 16 17 controlled the cannon and um, yeah, blasted a spray and all it was brilliant we did a full tour of uh, Manchester Airport all the we're on the roof and everything um, all the back back entrances and sicker corridors and all that stuff it was excellent. Ok, 
Okay. So I'm gonna take the short turn here. And then we're just gonna hold short. At the hold short. So strobes on. Actually I'm not gonna hold short, I'm gonna do the same thing as the last time. Uh land the lights on. Uh TCAS coming on. Ground spoilers on, flaps are at one. And just have a quick look. Clear. Clear. Right hand turn. Make sure your hospitality in Newcastle. And Toga. Can't wait for Beyond ATC to come out. So, I, I, I was actually, I was thinking earlier on, I might even give the default ATC a go again. Because I know, I watched the developer update from Microsoft Flight Simulator and, um, uh, or MS Official, um, earlier on, and, and the guys were saying that they've updated, uh, or they've fixed a lot of bugs and stuff. So, I might give it a go. Okay, positive rate gear up. Autopilot on. Um, yeah, so I'll give it a go off stream and then I'll, I'll do it on stream to see, see what, what, what way it works. See if it's any better. I doubt it, but you never know. You never know. Yeah, they said it fixed a lot of bugs, but. Well, that makes it any better or not. We'll see. Okay, so we'll just bring our speed up. Uh, I can dis disable or disarm ground spoilers. Um, just have the speed come up a bit before I go, uh, go up on the flaps. I'll wait a bit of climb out. Okay, flaps up. And um, we'll go climb or CL indent on the uh, throttle. Alright, so we'll just keep an eye on we'll just keep an eye on uh, our climb.
<laughs> I've done that before a couple of times. Uh, wrong button. <laughs> okay, very good. Alright. Um, okay, over the standard on the barrel, both sides. Let's bring this down a little bit here. Um, we also want uh, landing lights. Actually, where are we at? 8,000 feet, and we just started our climb, so we're close enough. So we'll go landing lights off, taxi lights off, and seatbelt signs coming off as well. And we'll give them a ping to say it's all good. Okay, we're on our way, so let's have a quick look. Volanta. I'll just keep Volanta open actually, so we'll keep an eye on the time. Uh, so there's that headwind I mentioned. It's not as strong at this altitude, but we do have a bit of a headwind. Um, and based on our current route, yeah, it's going to be a direct headwind once we make the turn, so how much we can do about it. Um, it'll be interesting to see what speed it's at at uh, cruise altitude. Just change the tablet over to the uh, this one here. Yep, we're all good. Those clouds, not weather. Looks fantastic. What's I say? Bad mo. I love all the usernames. Long zongyun, long zongyun, long onion, long onion. Not sure. Bad mo. Main raccoon. Nine six eight. Very good. So on our way back to Dublin, so this is the, as I said before, this is the one of the shortest um, routes of uh, of the multi schedule. Uh, so we've got we've got quite a few. We've got where is it? Oh, too many screens. Yeah, you can never have, never have enough screens. I'll have open. I'll take. There it is. There. Yeah, to just give you a bit of a taste of what I might stream over the next couple of couple of weeks. Um, so there's one here. There's a good one here actually from Dublin to Rome and back. Uh, Dublin to Lisbon, Prague. Nice. And I think there was JFK as well, New York, uh, Lebanon. Um, uh, where else? D -d 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 Amsterdam, Gatwick, Newcastle's one we're doing. And what's that? Oh, Jersey. And then there's a, a load of flights around Ireland too, like Waterford. Um, Waterford. Uh, I think Inish Man was one of them. Um, I, I only looked at it today, so I'm trying to remember. Um, yeah, Inish Man. I actually landed there the other day. I was doing a, a bit of a tour around the west coast of Ireland. Uh, Belfast City. Uh, Ballina. And, um, and then finally, 
Slago, so there's a few... Most of those airports I've been to, or I've done most of those routes. Um, but there, there are a few there that I haven't done, actually. So, um, I definitely want to do I haven't done, so... And I think, I'm pretty sure, almost all of them I've got uh, the paywall for as well, so... Um, so that helps. Um, just makes it makes it so much better. Uh, either payware, either payware or freeware. Um, I just I just feel it makes it a bit better when you're flying into uh, flying into those airports and they're um, they're not default, especially at night, especially at night. Um, so yeah, so that'll take a couple of weeks. Um, so I'll probably stream a good a good few of those um, flights. And I'll mix up the, the aircraft, like for example the long haul flights I'll probably do it in the 747 and the 787. Um, I'll probably take the headwind A330 as well for one of them. And then maybe the, so we might do like the JFK one, um, head out. Uh, and then, actually, you know what, on the JFK one I'm going to take the A330 because I haven't flown it in a long time and it's been updated uh, quite a few times, so I think that'll be good. Um, and then the, the medium hauls I'll switch between usually like the 320 and the 737. So I love the PMDG 737s. Um, I've got three different variants. Um, the 600, the 700, the 800. So I'll definitely, definitely do a few of those. I love the Phoenix as well, like in the fly-by-wire. Um, and there's another A320 Neo coming as well by Christmas apparently. So that's going to be interesting. I don't know. Not sure where. I don't think we need it, like, but you know, can't say no to a free aircraft to take it. <coughs> um, now, what was the? Was another plane I wanted to? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll probably use for the shorter, um, short hauls. I might even jump into the like the likes of the Fokker Twenty Eight and the One Four Six. And if the MD Eleven is out this month by TFDI Design, I'll definitely, definitely be taking that on the, a few trips, so there's a lot coming up, there's a lot coming up, which is good. Um, Alright, so we're still climbing, almost at, almost a cruise level, and uh, we'll be hopefully up and back down again, we've got 65 knot head window, so not just telling us. Oh, it's over here. Oh, 20 minutes. 22 minutes. So, up and down. Put a music there. Huh? Blast this one up, I think. I think we'll blast this one up. Let me just, um, do this.
That was nice. All right. Um, so we shouldn't be too far away from the top of descent. So we're gonna so ask for our destination data. So let's put that in. Oh, um, uh, well, actually, you know what? Top of descent still 60, 68 miles. So we've got a little bit to go. So that that headwinds definitely slows down a little bit. Definitely. Uh, but that's all right. So we're buying in the we're buying in the arrival information. Um, that's that's what it wants. Um, so we're going to runway twenty eight right. Hey buddy. This is my co-pilot. This is Hank. Hank the co-pilot. Hank the tank. All right. I'm sleeping. He's got a little infection at the moment, so he's not, he's not, um, he's, uh, not feeling too well. All right, buddy? Good boy. So, runway 20 at right. Uh, let's have a look at that. Um, bridge chart is the one on the left. Okay, 415, 250, all right. Just gonna find that up with the that's a little bit loud in my ear. Alright, so um two five two thousand five hundred feet is our altitude, so we'll bring uh we'll bring that down. And then we want uh, our borrow is four one five. Uh, in terms of weather we're looking at two hundred twenty knot or two hundred twenty degrees, five knot five knots. Visibility is good, broken twice 10,000, temperature is 13 degrees, and Q, uh, Q and H is 1016. Um, so let's sort that out then. Uh, so clear that one. <coughs> next phase, next phase. So let's say 1016. Uh, temperature can't remember two two zero at five four one five for the barrel. What was the temperature? Thirteen degrees. You sure? In October in Dublin, it's warm. I would have thought it would be a bit cooler than that. There you go. What I know. Um, okay, that's good. So. Just check top descent 50, 50 miles. Okay, what else do we need to do for arrival? I think that's it for the moment. Everything else is looking pretty good. Yep, yep, looking pretty good. So we're just literally just about to leave the um Head over across the REC, let's leave the east coast of England, um, and then into our star, and then down onto our uh, down onto our arrival in the 28 right into double. That's how we look. Let's see who else is around. You can always turn your head toward Ireland. <laughs> it's <laughs> grey. That's yep. <laughs> so I did a real world flight from Australia um, back to Ireland. Uh, probably roughly about I want to say four, or five, five, five weeks ago, five, six weeks ago, and uh, it was the same thing, London. It was like 30 degrees, 20, 27, 28 degrees, beautiful, beautiful sky, you know, not a cloud in the sky, it was roasting hot, and uh, you get to Ireland and it was just overcast, grey, dull, um, and then torrential rain, like like rain like you've never seen, you know, I mean, rain that I haven't seen in a while, I guess, is probably the best way of describing it, but um, absolute torrential rain for, for just, it rained almost every single day. 
the exception of probably four days out of the three and a half weeks that I was I was home for. So um, it was very nostalgic, and at times, you know. Oh, my co pilot wants to play. Come on around here, buddy. Over here. I want to show everybody your what you're doing. What's that you've got? I don't know if see him. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's give it a second. Come right, on over here. Over here. Over here. Come on over here. Over here. Let's see. Uh, bear with me. That's as far as we can do it. Everybody, come on here. Let me see. Over here, look. What side you've got? What side you've got? Give it to me. You ready? One, two, hop. Oh, I missed it. I was embarrassed Hank. We'll try it again. No? Alright. What is that you've got? Where did you find that? Okay. that? No. Right. So this is what he does. He normally he normally sleeps for a while and then you know messes around. That's good. Uh, I'll just bring this back up again a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So top of the scent. It's got to be. There it is there, uh, roughly about, what's that, 20 miles away? Or Soren AJ, fellow Firefly, Firefly, fellow Firefly, yep. Yeah. Excuse me, must be doing, we're doing something similar um, on the shed though probably. Cruising nicely above the RC. That gives us uh, 14 minutes until arrival, <clears throat> which is perfect for me, and then I'll be heading to bed. 14 minutes, top percent, excellent. Message. All these company messages. So we're only a couple of miles away, so I'll start the descent early um, as I did last time, uh, just to get uh, just to get moving. 
It's always better to be ahead of the game rather than behind it. There you go, we're behind the... Jeez, that's a steep descent, isn't it? Wow. I mean, I'm not sure why, because we've got plenty of... We've got plenty of space between here and Dublin. We've got a nice headwind as well, so... Let's come back up now. Put the emergency lights back to your arm or not? You did. That's your thing, look at that. Wonderful weather we're having. Sort my camera back out. We're getting a little bit of visibility back now. Just a smidgen. Hopefully it clears up when we hit the coast. I think it will. I think it said the weather said sixteen thousand feet, broken clouds, and then was it what was the ceiling? So we'll quick look. Ten thousand. So yeah, well okay, it'll clear up then. That's good. I'm sure of course. Hopefully we get a nice uh, arrival into, into Dublin. So everything was nice and smooth, landed in Newcastle, and there was no stutters. Well, there might have been a micro stutter, one or two, but um, frame rates and all were fine, everything was dead on. Where do you see the difference when we hit the ground in Dublin? There'll be stutters coming in, the frame rates will drop. Like, it's just a constant problem for me, so. Um, like to the point where. What I might do for the next flight is remove the payware completely and and only fly uh, and, and just take off from the default airport and to see if it makes a difference and then I'll put the payware back on and sort of mess around with it, see if it helps. Oh, mind yourself, Hank. Just mess around with the mic. Over here, buddy. Come on around this side. This way, Hank. Come on. Oh, no. Come on this way, buddy. Come on. Good point. Good job. He's given me his. He's given me his. Um, I thought you were gonna give it to me. Is uh, come on, no, I'll leave it. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's one of his um, soft sort of pops. That he's got. He wants, to, he wants me to play with him. 
You picked the wrong phase of fly for me to play with you, Hank. Didn't you? the Irish coast. Good boy. We're a little bit a little bit low. Um, but that's alright. That's alright. So we've got we've got a quite a significant not significant but it's it's a relatively longish kind of star. Um, so there's plenty of time to catch up on any, you know, things you need to catch up on, like altitude corrections or, you know, getting mm -hmm. people seated or whatever. Uh, do you have an idea? So this is what he's been trying to give me. You ready? Let's see. <laughs> he grabbed it. No, no, wait, wait for me. Leave it, leave it, please. Leave it, please. Thank, thank you. Leave it, please. Good boy. Now leave it, please. All right, good boy. Ready? Good job. Um. So. Yeah. So the the. All right. Okay. Hey, easy, buddy. Easy. Banging away here. It's going mad. Oh, it's going mad. It's banging away. Good job. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. Oh yeah, the star. So the star is uh, so it sort of does this kind of almost like a I don't know what would you call that, like a fish hook maybe, but a hook turn sort of thing um, in the Dublin. So we'll float around that and uh, see how we go. All right, so we're under ten thousand feet. So we'll put our we'll put our seatbelt signs on, and we'll get our landing lights on as well. Um, we'll start keeping an eye on things in terms of our um, preparation for arrival. So we're ma making basically making our first left-hand turn um, around around the uh, around the star. So we'll go sort of left and then that right. You can see what vehicles are. So left and then over to the right and then down. So sometimes I don't bother with that. Sometimes I'll just go do it direct to you or I'll cut it off or I'll fix it at the start before I take off. Um, but I, I didn't bother tonight because it's a short enough, short enough flight. Like so, um, like it's only been we've only been rolling for 40 minutes, 41. Philanta says it'll be on the ground at five. Um, which is probably about right. That's a different one. Hank, me a different one, did you? Ready? Over here. Let's go. Good boy. So. Yeah. Easy. Stay there. Good boy. I will arm ground spoilers at this point just because our spoilers because um, I always forget them. So, no harm in arming them now. Um, but I don't think I'm going to need them or use them for descent. Not, not at this rate, I mean we're 8,000 feet. It's a very controlled, there's plenty of time and space to get there. So no issues. 
So the transition altitude coming into Dublin should be somewhere in around 6,000, 7,000 feet. 5,000, 5,000 feet. And we'll change our, our barrel. I think we could probably go on Notcher Flaps shortly. Aren't you? You be rock at you. Make your head. So I'm hoping this clears this weather. I'm coming in a shoot to you. Shoot to you. flying into it look so uh, that's it just looks like rain which doesn't surprise me so we so we're gonna do a, a right hand turn and then we sort of fly back so we actually we'll fly into it and then back out of it I think so that's why the the me tower is coming up as clear over the over the airport I'll just double check it here so it's been updated I still call it was clear, so should be okay. When we make that right hand turn, I reckon we'll come out of the the squall, as they say. Or the squall, the squall is that what you say when you're at sea? I'm not sure what you say when you're in the air. Who's that? Arthur Rat. Arthur At. Sure which one. Forward to the next update from Phoenix as well. See what um, see what they're going to bring out. Let's actually jump on the Discord here and have a quick look to see what their, their latest announcement was. 
I think it was. I think they were announcing to push to push their update back, if I remember correctly. Yeah, well said. Well said. This was last week. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I don't know so much. Oh yeah, okay. So they, yeah, so they were saying they're going to release Block 2 at the end of the month, which is so end of September. However, they're pushing it. They're not ready to release it, so they're going to push it back. So the A321 and A319 are the next plane, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the A321 because you can use the A321 for cross Atlantic. I mean you could probably get away with it across Atlantic in the A320 as well if you manage your fuel right and all that sort of stuff, but like in the real world the A321 is used to cross, to cross Atlantic as well, so um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. So that's our turn. This is our turn back toward the airport, and we do a left-hand turn down to the airport. I forgot to update the... I actually forgot. I meant to update this. Get rid of that. And... Get rid of that. Just the description. So we're, it's clearing up now, so that's good. So we're basically heading to where Soaring AJ is. And um, we'll do a left hand turn momentarily. Okay, not to flaps. As we make this turn, we're pretty much coming into the feather or the ILS beam, so I'll um, knock on the approach mode in a moment. Let's get myself positioned here for landing. Set. 
set up the external com just in case we need it. There's the runway. Runway in sight. Another notch of flaps. Approach mode going on. Um, group capture. I think. Good point. So we're going to set our auto brake to medium. Ground spoilers are active or armed. See what signs are on, ladder lights are on. Uh, I think that's it. So I think that's it. Alright, so go here down. Send a nice thing. So no stutters or any issues with performance just yet, right? But we'll just keep an eye on it. I'm sure I'll get some sort of issue shortly. Probably on short final. If Atlantic give us a, uh, or sorry, if some brief gives us a flying time of, uh, I think it was forty nine minutes. Uh, we're not, we're at fifty five minutes with the taxi, so it's not too bad. We're under the hour anyway. All right, full flaps. Yeah, the auto throttle just kicking in the engine. Keep the thrust up. I meant to check my ladder rate. So ladder rate monitor on the last one can be 175. So we've got to do. So beat that. There's the stutters. Here we go. So that, I think that's like the transition line. Or, you know what I mean? So. Uh oh. That's gonna leave it for a moment. I'm getting a slight micro stutter here. I think it's settled now. So, frames seem to be okay still. But every time I enter into. Oh, I don't know what's wrong. 500. The throttle slipped. Alright, my aircraft. I'm gonna disable uh, autopilot off. My aircraft. 100 above. 100 above, thank you. Side micro starter there as well. Another one. Really above them. MK Studios fix your software. 100. That's, that's fine now. It's actually 15, spot on now. 40, 30, 20, wow. Power back, flare. 
recon. Um, Flow's giving me 279, but I, I don't use Flow, I use Lander Rate Monitor. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> 366. <clears throat> Sorry, I might have, bro might have broken a few necks there. That's alright. Seemed okay to me. Okay, uh, spoilers in. Flaps up. Coming off the runway. Slow down a little bit. Uh, landing lights off. Strobe lights off. And taxi lights on. And turn lights on. And we head back toward the terminal. What did it say? <laughs> Hard landing. Oh shit. Alright, so we'll taxi back. Start the APU. Get ready for deep warning. To be fair, the weather has. I'm not sure. So I was, I'm hammering it here. Jesus, it was like it was like doing a handbrake turn around that corner there. Uh, I was gonna say, has the weather cleared up? I don't think it has. Across the runway, so we're gonna put our strobe lights back on. As we roll across, we'll just make sure it is clear. I need I'm gonna get Toby Eye for this, but yeah, it looks clear. Stay in the yellow line, Mick. Okay. What one is that? Oh brakes. No brake fan on. Do a right hand turn here. And throw the back off. So hot, yep. So brake fans on. We we'll probably should probably hear it actually. We we'll hear it. We'll stop. Uh, APU is available. That's good. I have a. I actually. I don't think I've actually seen Dublin at night. Looks pretty good over there. So the performance has been. It's, it's actually. Fun. Oh, you know what? Just notice something. Yeah, the performance is fine, right? Uh, I don't mean to hit that one. Let's do a left hand turn. Oh, we're rolling on down a little bit. Performance is fine, you know why? There's no traffic here. So, I'm using FS traffic, but it doesn't seem to have loaded in. For some reason. See that? Windows Grand Crew. I don't see any airplanes. So we'll just we'll just ignore that. That's fine. That's fine. Look at that. Have you ever seen Dublin too quiet? That could be because number one, I didn't tell it where it was going or what it was doing. And number two, well, you usually don't have to. And number two, um, I didn't, I didn't close the sim and load back in again. I just, you know, went for it. So I'm just gonna pick a random gate 
Uh, this one here will do. On my right here. Actually, I'll go to the next one. Go to the next one. Uh, taxi lights off. Turn lights off. And there is a visual docking guidance system, but it looks like it's turned off. Yep, it's not giving as much. Might just say stop here anymore. Let's see what it does. Yep. I'm gonna stop there. It didn't really. Oh, okay. Give me a red light. Yep. Yeah. It's super. Uh, if you bleed on and it just coming off. Oh, I forgot to turn my tea cast off again. I always, always forget to turn it off. Hit the board. Uh, let's bring in GSX. Recording. Um, okay, we want to also do ground services. Keep your chocks on already, that's good. Uh, external power on. And then we can start turning everything off. So uh, let's hit the clock. Uh, we want to go. Alright, so we want to crash borders run, that's fine. Let's go weather systems off. That's off already, it's turned off already. Uh, brake fan can come off. Uh, let's reset the clock. Don't need any of this. message, that's our arrival message, so we'll have a look at the arrival message. Open that a moment. Passengers the boarding Thank you. Let's just have a quick look at it. Oh, it's working now, look. That's great, thanks mate. A bit late there. A bit late to tie, huh? Oh, big a night off. And the passengers, I wonder if they're going to walk off, or if there's a bus. No, I think they're going to walk off. Oh yeah, because I've got the profile for Dublin. I don't have it for version 2 though. So that's interesting. Uh, APU bleed can come off now, as can the APU, because the next needed. Uh, Adiers, stupid thing. Adiers can roll back. Um, emergency exit sign stay on, seatbelt signs off. No smoking signs off. I'll leave the nav lights on for the moment. And I'll just bring that down a little bit. Um Okay, uh, heat's come off. That's pretty much it. Yeah, so they're walking off, look. So that's because I've got a GSX profile here. So they're, they're actually walking off and using the door. That's pretty cool. See the frame rate drop? That's yeah. So I'm definitely having. I'm definitely yeah. So I'm gonna uninstall version two of Dublin to see if it um, see if it helps. Um, I'll just test it. I'll test it off stream, and then uh, before we do the next load of um, the next load of uh, flights. So there we go. So that was um, Dublin to Newcastle and back again, all in one hit. Um, in the Phoenix A320, uh, so that was great. Um, so I think the next, the next flight, 
I'll probably do will be um, possibly tomorrow. I'm not not entirely sure. Um, if I don't do tomorrow, I'll definitely do Wednesday. Um, so as I'm, I'm, I'm usually flying every night, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do these. This this is gonna be a bit repetitive for the next few weeks in terms of flight out, flight back. Um, so so I'll, yeah, so I'll I'll, um, I'll jump on. Um, over, over the next few days. Uh, what I was going to do, I was going to turn fuel pumps off. That's what I was going to do. Fuel pumps off. And um, we can probably come off external power. And we'll go batteries off. And I'll just knock it all off my panel here. Oops. It's going to. My fault. Um, yep, done. There we go, the aircraft shut down. Everyone's off. Uh, are we deboarded? Well, we haven't really. <laughs> I went a bit early. So, okay, listen, thanks very much for um, hanging around. Thank you for watching and uh, thanks for joining. Um, I'll say we're back uh, over the next couple of days and uh, yeah, I'll catch you then. Um, in the meantime, take care. Have a, have a good week. Cheerio.